I'm just going to smile for about five minutes. <laughs> I cannot think of a better way to end this incredible day than by swearing in our next Chief of Naval Operations. You're here. sure how I'm going to get through this. Um, as the individual who quite frankly has the first responsibility and the many steps that takes place in nominating both our three and our four star admirals, I take this responsibility probably more seriously than anything else that I do as Secretary of the Navy. Because I know that my only legacy will be to pick the very best admirals and generals in our United States Navy and Marine Corps that will far outlive anything that I do and the time that I'm Secretary of the Navy. So this is extremely important for me. And I am so proud that I came out of that process with the strongest of convictions to nominate this woman to be our next Chief of Naval Operations because she has absolutely all of the operational experience, the vision, the strategy, and perhaps what I believe to be perhaps even the most important characteristics of a good leader is the inspiration to truly touch the hearts of the thousands and millions of men and women that she'll cross paths with in her tenure as CNO to make our Navy, our nation, that much stronger. So, before she changes her mind in any way, <laughs> close the door, and please rise, and Admiral, please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I say your name. I, Lisa Marie Franchetti. Do solemnly swear. Do solemnly swear. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. And that I take this obligation freely. I take this obligation freely. Without any mental reservation. Without any mental reservation. Or purpose of evasion. Or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully. And that I will well and faithfully execute the duties of the office upon which I'm about to enter. Execute the duties of the office upon which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. for a moment and thank you very much uh, everyone for being here today uh, to celebrate this day with me uh, with the secretary and, uh, and with my family mr. secretary let me first thank you and thank the president and the secretary of defense for your confidence in me uh, for the opportunity to lead the world's greatest and most powerful Navy that provides options every single day to our nation's leaders and, you know, for me, this is a great day. For my family, let me say thank you very much. I have my family that is here, Jim and Isabel. Thank you for your inspiration every day. I have my brother who is representing my family that's there somewhere on FaceTime, uh, who has supported me for so many years. And uh, I always say that families are the glue that holds our Navy together. And I know in my case, that glue is extra strong. And uh, it is what inspires me, and it supports me every day. And I couldn't do what I do every day without you. So I'd like to give a big round of applause to my family. <laughs> story, but I would just like to offer it one more time. You know, I joined the Navy for free college, uh, for books, and 
a chance to be part of teams. And when I came in the Navy from Northwestern as an ROTC student, it was going to be four years and go on and find something else to do. And uh, what I stayed for was those teams. I stayed for the mission. I stayed for what it is that we get to do for our nation every day as part of those great teams. So to all of you that are, are standing here today, the one thing I would like to offer for you is when you're young, you think your life is going to be like I-95. It's going to be Maine to Florida. You know what's going to happen at every exit. But our life really is more like the Potomac. It's windy. It has lots of turns. It has rough spots. It has eddies where you get stuck. But if you know what you want to do, and you have your eyes open to all the possibilities that come from those twists and turns and eddies, then you can achieve all those things that you want to do in your own life. So as I have this incredible opportunity, Mr. Secretary, to lead the world's greatest Navy, let me say I am proud to serve alongside each and every one of you and the sailors and the Marines and the Joint Force that you represent. There is nothing that we can't do together. So I am proud to see you in action. I send a shout out to all our sailors that are standing the watch today, uh, keeping us safe, deterring our adversaries, so we can be here and have this celebration today.